Hi, I'm Danny Gasparini, and welcome to this segment of One on One. I'm joined today by Raziel Unger, who by day is a realtor with Cold World Banker, and by night is the producer and director of Burlingame Buzz. So, Raziel, welcome. Thank and you. tell us, what is Burlingame Buzz? That's a great question. Thank you for having me on the show, Danny. Uh, Burlingame Buzz is a series of unique documentary, documentary style short films all about Burlingame, California. And we, I've been working on this project since last summer. We've produced nearly four dozen of these documentary style short films all about two minutes in length, really um, representing a wide array of, of Burlingame. So we've interviewed everyone from the mayor and the police and fire chief to uh, my favorite local restaurants and done pieces on them. And um, the schools, we've partnered with the superintendent, Diane Tallarico, to really you know, focus attention on what are the important things about Burlingame. So it's- And so there must be a little reason why you chose Burlingame. I, I was born and raised in Burlingame. All right, I must so there's a little it. bit there's a little bit of heart and soul there. Absolutely. And I understand that this has just been a passion um, and love of yours in producing and directing this. This has been something that you funded completely on your own, again, for your passion and love of Burlingame, giving a little bit back to a city that you grew up in. So how did you choose who was going to be featured in your short documentaries? That's a good question. Well, in the beginning, uh, you know, I just started working on the project with um, with a friend of mine from Burlingame High School, Mark mm -hmm. Bracamonte, who turned out to become my videographer. And I thought, hey, let's just do pieces on a few neighborhoods in Burlingame. And it kind of snowballed into this really huge project and momentum and you know more momentum. And so we reached out to different community members and I was trying to give them a voice to say, hey, you know, this is why the Burlingame public schools are so wonderful. So we've produced pieces on each of them that they can in turn use for development. We can show, you know, if parents are thinking of moving to the community, uh, they can watch these videos, say, hey, can I, you know, do I want to send my kid to Lincoln or Washington, whatever it is. I wanted to really kind of call attention to, to these. Well, as a realtor, isn't that the first question that people always ask is, how are the school districts, right? Absolutely. And then now they can also go to some of these Burlingame Buzz short documentaries and find out how good the food is and where the great retail is, um, some of your favorite haunts as well. Oh, yeah. We've done pieces on, you know, Copenhagen Bakery, Park Road Fitness, La Boheme, Stella Alpina, some, you know, really well-known places in Burlingame. And we talked with the owners and so, you know, and the chef. And we wanted people to see a different side. Like, right. for example, did people know that there's, or did you know, because I know you're, you're going to Copenhagen Bakery later, that there's a downstairs where they produce about 150 cakes every weekend. And they have six people working there full time in their cake department. Well, we should have our own Cake Boss show, um, West Coast style. <laughs> That'd be great. So where, where does someone go to see some of these documentaries? Does the city of Burlingame have it up on its own website? Did you create a website? Absolutely. Uh, all the films are on uh, BurlingameBuzz.com. Okay. Additionally, people can go to blip.tv or onto YouTube and just type in Burlingame Buzz and they okay. can view them there. So if somebody went to Google um, Words and sort of typed in Copenhagen Bakery, Copenhagen Bakery, would they happen to then, would this short video pop up as well, or would it just pop up the, the um, bakery site? No, absolutely. Uh, the power of the internet is such, we want this to show up as well. So if someone's Googling Copenhagen Bakery, we hope that our video mm -hmm. will show up too to really you know, add uh, you know, to, and drive business to their store. So you had mentioned that you had a uh, very good friend who was the um, videographer. So, I mean, tell us how you came up with the idea for some of the sites. I mean, just called up the baker at Copenhagen and said, we, we want to be there today, or the, the library, or individuals that you interviewed sure. for the People of Burlingame segment. Sure. Well, it wasn't too easy. You know, you have to kind of have a lot of persistence to, to get this done because it's a new concept right. and kind of this homegrown filmmaker angle has not really been done, to my knowledge, anywhere else in the country. So we kind of, you know, I approached people and the people who were willing to listen in the beginning said, hey, let's, let's do it. And then we put together a trailer and we put it online. And once people saw the, the professional quality that we were doing, uh, we had a lot more support. And so what do we think is going to be on tap for Burlingame Buzz Part 2, the sequel? <laughs> it's a great question. Uh, our goal is to roll out uh, about two videos a month. So you'll be seeing a video coming up featuring Drew Schiller, uh, Burlingame High School alum and starting point guard at Stanford. That'll be, you know, we're trying to feature people who have done interesting things. Mm -hmm. So we've tried to cover some businesses. Now I want to focus a lot on people. So if someone were to watch the video, how long is the video itself? Uh, well, we, we have this whole series and each is a couple minutes. Oh, okay. Um, we just had the red carpet premiere at the Burlingame Public Library on Wednesday night. And we had you know, about 130 people and we put together a special piece right. that was about 42 minutes. And we have a second 
uh, screening coming up on June 2nd as well. Okay, so you could not only just view the two minute video on the short documentary for that specific subject or place or or something about Berlin game, or you can watch it as a whole video, and you had said it was 42 minutes for, Correct. for that one. Well, that was something special we did for the okay, premiere. Okay, for the premiere. Uh, and, and we know that when people watch video online, uh, two minutes is about as long as their attention span can mm -hmm. be for this, for this type of media. So we really wanted to keep it short and sweet. So if I uh, wanted to contact you because I thought that perhaps there was a park in um, Berlin game that had a great amount of history and it was a wonderful meeting place for community. How do I sort of pitch my um, short documentaries to you? Uh, people can go online to BerlinGameBuzz.com, Danny, and they can fill out a contact form and we're happy to look you know, and consider all uh, requests. So have you been getting flooded with everybody after they've watched it? Oh, you should do a segment on the police department. Oh, you should do a segment on my neighborhood mother's group. Uh, well, we actually have done a segment on the police department and on the Burlingham Mothers Club already. Well, why don't you tell us <laughs> some of the segments that you've done? Uh, we've we've done stuff on you know several different restaurants, um, each elementary school, um, a piece on the whole school district um, in general. Really, you know, to try to be very comprehensive. So, if anybody wanted anything to know about anything Burlingame, they go to BurlingameBuzz.com. That's the goal. So you also were involved in one other project, and I think it was an art exhibition, My Monet. We have just about a minute left. Tell us quickly about that pro project. Sure. My Monet uh, is a children's art exhibition that I created uh, in 2009 to exhibit children's art at Art in the Park in Burlingame, which is Burlingame's flagship annual community event. And it's been a lot of fun. We exhibited about 50 works of kids' art last year. And the best part was seeing them so proud that their art was on public display. Right. And, and, and if I remember correctly, in such a professional manner, it Thank really you. did look like um, a professional art uh, show. So, Thank Raziel, you. thanks so much for being here. My Anything pleasure. Burlingame, go to BurlingameBuzz.com. So before we end this segment of One on One, let's look at the trailer for Burlingame Buzz. And we'll see you next time. Right now we are at Washington Park. We're here at Park Road Fitness. We're here at Stella Alpina. We're here at Earthbeam on Broadway. We're here now at Burlingame High School. And now we're at the Burlingame Farmer's Market. Welcome to BurlingameBuzz.com. My name is Raziel Unger, and over the next couple minutes, you're gonna have a nice snapshot of unprecedented footage uh, all about our special town of Burlingame. Enjoy. Burlingame is just a wonderful place to uh, live and or work. I've been all around this great big world, and um, this is just a very, very special town. We toured the entire Bay Area uh, for potential places to live, and we selected Burlingame because I love the um, small town feel. It was the small town, the old, plus the new. It just was very attractive to us. There was a charm to Burlingame, and it was close to San Francisco. Obviously, Burlingame Avenue is great. It's got the best of all worlds. Yeah, Burlingame has incredible shopping. It just does. When you go to any of the restaurants or go to any of the businesses, you're gonna have a friendly face. Really good freeway access to both the 101 and the 280, and um, the school districts are also really great. There's high level involvement, whether it's volunteering in classrooms or fundraising. All of our schools score over the threshold of 800 on the Academic Performance Index. I have students who get accepted to the most rigorous colleges and are ready to be critical thinkers and go off into the world. Burlingame's a good community because it's small, there's a not very much of a crime record. The weather is, shall I say, Camelot-like. Uh, with the avenue right there, uh, you can take a walk when you are too hot in the kitchen. I walk down the street here, you know, I feel like people know me, they recognize me. You can get to Lake Tahoe, it's not that far away. You can get to Carmel, you can get to Napa Valley. There's, within an hour's drive, there's plenty of places to go hiking and enjoy some really beautiful country. Uh, it's a great community. There's a lot of good families, a lot of good kids. It's got all the amenities that a, a family and people with children often are looking for. You'll say to yourself, this is really quaint. Rolling Games, the, the perfect location because of our proximity to the airport. So it's been a great place to live and um, I would highly recommend it. There really are no bad neighborhoods in Burlingame. Everything about Burlingame is awesome. I love it here. Burlingame is the best, you know? <laughs>